Nabil Ramana is joining us now with how the staffing shortage could affect how officers are doing their job, and this change starts today. Absolutely, October 1st. If it's October, it already. is. It hard is. to <laughs> believe. Yeah, well, the department wants you to use iReportAustin.com or call 311, not 911, to report crimes that are no longer in progress or when the suspect or people involved are no longer on scene and when there's no further immediate threat to life or property. So what kind of crimes or calls could be impacted or considered non-emergencies? Well, a few of those include burglary of residence, business or vehicle, crashes between vehicles that don't require a tow, there are no injuries, both drivers have proof of insurance and a driver's license and neither driver is impaired, also theft. Now, instead of a patrol officer responding to crimes like these, you will see a crime technician. Our property crime technicians are actually in our forensics division and do receive specific training on the collection of evidence, uh, including forensic evidence such as DNA evidence or fingerprints uh, and the proper submission of that. Now, Save Austin Now, an organization that's pushing for more officers and more money for APD, says the changes are concerning. The police department simply does not have the manpower to respond to every call. And so they have made the tragic uh, and very difficult decision to stop responding with police officers to non-life threatening calls. That should be a wake up call to every Austinite who may not understand how serious the situation is. Now, Chief Chacon stressed that if there is an immediate threat to public safety, then a call to 911 is appropriate and APD will dispatch an officer. And just a quick look over the chief's monthly crime report showed that so far in 2021, there have been more than 2,800 burglaries. And again, that is one of the responses that will be affected by this change. You so bet. Chief Chacon taking, you know, becoming the chief yesterday mm -hmm. and a lot of a lot of things uh, he's got to look over and we could see some changes. So. A lot of changes starting today, the uh, day absolutely. he becomes the permanent exactly. chief, you know, officially. Okay, Nabil, thank you for that. Save Austin Now, you heard Nabil talking about that. Well, Save Austin Now is backing Prop A, and that item on the November ballot would require the city to have two police officers for every thousand Austin residents. City believes that that's going to cost as much as $600 million over the next five years.